he might come back. Block and I'll drive down to the landing and look things over. We'll go on down to the landing. Langley must be around here somewhere. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Pick up driver of taxi number 67 wanted for murder. Dirty high binders. What were you shooting at? Thought I told you never to use this rifle again on the war. But they was a shooting at my boy. Steve? Is he hiding out around here? Well, he was. But he's gone down river now. He's wanted for murder. You know that, don't you? I had him. Ah, uh, never mind. We're going down to police headquarters right now. Turn Langtree and the captain over to DeVore. Tell him to take him down to the chief. I'll radio in. Thank you, LeBron. I was aiming to have a talk with Chief Dumont. All right, on your way. I don't see why Steve Langley would murder them all. As I told you, Chief, it was because he didn't want us to do business with Duval. What? what kind of business? We had a big deal on with Duval and other important citizens to greatly improve your city. Langtree wanted to cut in, and Duval wouldn't stand for it. Uh-huh. And with Langtree threatening Duval at the garage, and his stealing your taxi and his escape at the wharf, and the fact that you can swear that Steve Langtree murdered Duval. Well, here, sign these warrants, and I'll see if he's brought in. Yes, Chief. I want Steve Langtree brought in. He was seen down by the landing wall. Yes, sir. Send out all your deputies and deputize some additional men from your citizens' committee. Lebron brought these men in, Chief. He said Lebron would radio in about them. I already received his message. Evening, Chief Dumont. Oh, Cap. Hey, what's this all about Steve murdering Duval? It's a lie. There ain't a grain of truth in it. If there's been any murder, and you needn't look any further than him. You might ask the captain what happened to a Mr. Einrich who was on his boat, and ask him who shot a man by the name of Jug Jenks. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's this all about? I was coming down to tell you about it in the morning, Chief. A man was murdered on my boat, and I have a feeling that he did it. Now, everybody accusing each other isn't going to get us anywhere. Then I'll make it more formal. I'll swear out a warrant against him as an accessory. And I insist that you hold him as a suspect. Uh, well, I'll take it easy, Cap. Take it easy. Cap, this is a very serious matter. Well, now, you ain't going to jail me, are you, Chief? No, but you may have to tie up your boat and stick around a while until I get this matter cleared up. Well, the morning glory blew up her boilers. And these high binders tied down the safety valve. She's downriver now, being fixed. Mm -hmm. Well, so she's fixed, bring her on. All right, Chief. I'm going to tell you, sir. When this matter is over, you're going to find that these foreigners are the murderers. 
Come on, Langford. You've been deputized to search the swamps and shanty boats for Steve Langfrey. If you find him, you're to bring him here, unharmed. What are you doing in Rovenal's cabin, eh? You look for the murderer? We oui, and I have captured one of them already. I show you. Napoleon! He's one of them? We oui, and I think he have rendezvous here with Steve Landry. And when Monsieur Landry come, we give him big surprise. Landry. Monsieur, come away from the door. Do not move. Do not like to shoot you. All right, boys, I'll go. Get the other one. Tie up his hands. Sorry, I got you into this, Napoleon. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Steve. May I ask, Monsieur, do not try to escape, or we shoot. You're back, Miss Jenny. Get them boilers fixed? Well, fixed ain't the word, but they'll get the boat moving, if that's what you mean. All right, get steam up. We're moving on. Hi, sir. Hello, Jacques. Hi, Jenny. Captain. Well, good. How's the arm? Doing all right. How'd you make out at the landing? Come up to the pilot house and then tell you all about it. And that's the way things stand. Steve is out in the swamps being chased. Duval is dead. And we're farther away than ever from knowing what's so valuable in the swampland. I'm convinced Toller is responsible for all our troubles. Yeah. So am I. Reverse engines. Reverse engines? Good landing, Pop. Steve's been caught. They got him and Napoleon in the jailhouse now. Some of the Cajuns caught him in the swamps. When did this happen? This morning. We got to get him out of there. Where is he? In the courthouse jail? No, Chief Dumont took him to the little jail down on River Street. He was afraid the townspeople would raid the court jail. Jenny. Oh, Steve, I'm awfully sorry. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. I get a lot of time to think. Looks like quite a blow coming up. Oh, just another tropical storm. It'll be over as fast as it comes. How's Toller? 
I haven't heard any more from him. He's got me where he wants me, so he's probably cooking up something. Watch out for him and don't sign a thing. Captain! Napoleon! Now, don't you worry, boy. I'm going to see Chief Dumont about bailing you both out. That's the best news I've heard today. Thank you, Captain. It's all right, boy. I'm going to have a talk with the Chief. I'll see you both back at the shanty. All right, Cap. He's stuck with a murder charge, and circumstances make it look pretty bad. I can't let him out on bail. I'm sorry, but that's final. just where we want him, in jail. By the time he gets through with his trial, we'll own all the property we want around here. I wish I had your confidence. Look, I can force old man Langtree to sell out to me by promising not to testify against his son. I hope you're right. Those two prisoners in the jailhouse? 